and you looking kinda on my man. Give me the beat live, you know Lil' Juke made it. What's poppin' with y'all? It's your girl, Fanita, and I got this really cute rolling tray. If y'all want to see how I put these LED lights on it, make sure y'all keep watching. Make sure you follow my social medias and hit that subscribe button for more. Period. I started off with this tray right here that I had already made. So it's already dry, already set. And I got these little wire lights from Hobby Lobby. They're like $6. They're like 7 feet long. But that's really all I could find. I got these little rhinestones on a strip type of deal thing. That was like a dollar something at Michael's. Then you're going to need some glue, something to apply the glue, and some scissors, and some tape. So, um, my lights got tangled up. I don't know how I did that. But, uh, yeah. I was trying not to break them, I guess. I don't know. But I just uh, basically lined the lights around the bottom of the tray. Like I said, the lights are seven feet. The tray is not that big, so I just used the tape to like temporarily hold it in place as I wrapped it around. So y'all can see me do that. Y'all, it took me a while to put these lights on there. I ain't gonna lie. That's why I had to speed it up so much for y'all because I was struggling, if you couldn't tell. One thing I liked about these lights was that the battery pack was small enough to, like, fit on the side of the tray. A lot of these lights had, like, big battery boxes and stuff, and I was trying to avoid that. But, um, luckily, that fit right under the little lip of the tray and this is what it looked like when i got done taping the lights around and now i was gonna start gluing them not gonna lie this was the hardest part one because it was really messy two because i don't know it just was not sticking how i wanted it to i was low-key scared to lose hot use hot glue i didn't want to ruin the lights
y'all i was really struggling to put these lights on like i was really making a mess and this technique was not really working out so that's kind of why i said i would come back and try to do a part two to see if it's a like better way to do this but i had to do it how i had to do it at the moment so that's how i did it and um <laughs> The glue wasn't drying that quick, and I just really wasn't being patient about it, if I'm being honest with y'all. But I went ahead and stuck that battery pack on the side, and I kept it pushing with my day, as I should. Eventually. This is what it looked like after I got done gluing it. Uh, if y'all can kind of see, it's like a lot of glue, but I had to end up getting all that off. I mean, I still had to stick the little rhinestones on there, so I wasn't really tripping that much. But um, all the excess glue, I definitely had to get that off. So it has sticky adhesive on the back, but I just apply some glue and just start sticking it around the inside of the tray. I did run into a problem, and the sticky adhesive actually came off of the rhinestones and it made a mess and yeah i don't know everything was just a mess but i had to keep faith in this tray i ain't gonna lie to y'all process looking real ugly but gotta trust the process y'all I went ahead and started gluing a second layer around. I think I did a, actually a total of three layers on the sides and only like two layers on the shorter sides, like um, where the ends are. But as y'all see, I used the whole roll. Two hours later. This was the finished product. Um, it came out better than I expected. I don't know. I definitely would do some things differently next time, but I definitely like how it came out. Like, this is really cute. So if y'all wanna, you know, roll and trade, get with me. Make sure y'all follow my business page for all that info. Um, and yeah, these will now be for sale. Make sure y'all stay safe, stay fly, man. I'll catch y'all on the flip side.